Hello everybody. Today we'll be doing an experiment over Pascal's principle over hydraulic pumps. My name is Landon Broussard. I'll be doing the experiment with the partner behind the camera. His name is Esteban Lara. So basically, Pascal's principle on hydraulic pumps states that a pressure exerted on one piston in the system will exert an increase in the same pressure on a separate piston in the system. So this can be explained further through Bernoulli's equation. So in Bernoulli's equation, since the height is gonna be the same, we can go ahead and cross that out, and the velocity is gonna stay the same throughout the piston too, throughout the system, so we can go ahead and cross that out. So we're left with the pressure at piston one is equal to the pressure at piston two. So the pressure is also equal to the force over the area, so at one, and then the force over the area at two is also gonna be equal. So in this scenario, since the diameters are the same, the areas are going to be the same. So those would just cancel out and the force would be the same. So if we take a, a different system where the diameter is smaller on one side than it is the other one, when we take this same equation, turn for Newley's equation, So now, since the diameter is smaller at the first piston, the area is gonna be smaller too. So to remain the, for the equation to remain equal, the force would also have to be smaller. But if you're not gonna make the force smaller, as we do in the experiment later, you'll see we'll have two five pound weights. So since the forces are gonna stay at five pounds each, and since the area is gonna get smaller, then it's gonna cause the, uh, the system to move out. And so you'll see that in the experiment that s is about to show you in a second. All right, so for this experiment, we built a wooden box here, a square box, of course, um, using quarter inch plywood, some L brackets and some screws that are you know keeping it together. Also for this experiment, you're gonna need uh, two different size diameter syringes. So we got a 0.5 of an inch diameter here and then point it 0.8 end of an inch here and then you also need some clear tubing to allow for a pathway for the water or your incompressible liquid to travel between the both of these syringes now for this experiment the liquid use our incompressible liquid that we're going to be using is going to be water and it's just dyed red to be easily seen so the first step is to fill up the large syringe And then you're going to grab your tubing here and insert the syringe into the tube. Pass it through the top hole. Make sure all the air is out of there. And then you don't want any air bubbles in any of your syringes. So in order to get all the air bubbles out of the tube, you're going to put some force down on the syringe there. Get any air bubbles out. Pass the tubing back through the top, the second hole. And then just insert the small syringe into it. Now sometimes it's a little difficult, but I apologize. It's taking quite a bit. Okay. Now as you can see it takes quite a bit of force to push down on the larger cylinder there. Let me fix this tubing. There we go. Now, as you can see, it doesn't take nowhere near the same amount of force to push down on the smaller cylinder. And that is because of the diameter. It takes more force to push down on the larger diameter. Just It's more, more area to push down onto. Now, for this experiment, we're gonna use two identical five pound weights. And we're going to push them and place them on top of the, the syringes. Now, these syringes were the same size. The And you put the same amount of force on, on either end. They're going to hold each other up. But because it takes a lot less force to push down the smaller, the smaller cylinder here, or piston, sorry. It's going to cause the bigger cylinder to rise up. So, I mean, yes, just a little bit more. So I'm just going to place these on here, 
and I'm gonna let gravity do its work. And as you can see, the larger cylinder is rising and the smaller cylinder is being pushed down. Thank you everybody for watching our video over Pascal's principle over hydraulic pumps. Hope you were able to learn something from this video and take that knowledge and apply it to the real world. Thank you.